Okay, in this video we're going to show how to host a static website in AWS S3. I'm going to show you what the static website looks like. It's just a very simple web page, single web page with an image. Uh, I'm going to show you even what the HTML looks like, which is right here. And it's just a very simple HTML with an image right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this simple website into S3. Here I'm going to show the um, the steps that are going that we're going to do. We're going to create the S3 bucket. We're going to upload that website and image into the S3 bucket. We're going to specify that the bucket be used for static website hosting. Then we're going to unblock um, access for bucket policies. We're going to, uh, sorry, make it unblock public access for bucket policies. And then we're going to add the bucket policy to allow reading of the objects within that bucket. Okay, so let's go into our S3 dashboard, which is here. We're going to create a bucket. So this bucket name needs to be unique across all um, S3 accounts in, for, in the world. So it should be something very unique like this. I just added my name onto it, so it should be good. Let's just hit create. You can go through the next, but I was going to leave all the defaults anyway, so we can just hit create. Okay, so this is it right here. So test website static Misha. I'm going to go into that bucket. I'm going to upload the files from my website, which are right here, these two files. Okay, and I'm going to just hit upload. I get it because I was going to leave all the defaults. So we'll just upload it. So now we have these two files. So just because they're in your bucket now, we, we can't access them and there's no way for you, for anybody on the internet to see them. So what we're going to do is we're going to first specify that this bucket is going to be used for static website hosting and that's right here under the properties tab we'll go to static website hosting and say use this bucket to host a website it even gives us the web the endpoint that we're going to use so that's here the index document is index.html there we can leave everything else as is we'll say save and if we go onto that endpoint see right now it says 403 forbidden. If we actually tried to do that before I enabled this static website hosting, like if I say disable, it should actually give us, I think, a 404, so it wouldn't even find it. Okay, so it is a 403. Well, anyway, the, the, the main idea is that it, you can't access the bucket right now, but you've enabled it to say, okay, I want this bucket to host my website. Okay, so now we've done that, and then what we want to do is we want to unblock public access um, to the bucket policies, and that's right here. So this public access, right now by default it blocks everything for your access control list or ACLs and for your bucket policies. We're going to create a bucket policy, so we're going to need those bucket policies to be in in, um, to be working because it's going to allow a, a, the bucket policy will specify that we want to allow public access to our bucket. Uh, the ACLs we could still block them and everything else here will so we'll uncheck these two for bucket policies and we'll hit save then we'll hit confirm. Okay so now we've updated the uh, access for the bucket policies and now we actually have to give it a bucket policy but as you can see the bucket policy is empty and here is where we can make use of this policy generator right here it's to okay, I don't know why it dimmed right now my display but this will allow us to um, to create a bucket policy that will um, allow access to our bucket so in here, for the type of policy, we'll say S3 bucket policy. We're going to allow uh, the principal. We'll put a star, so that would be everybody. And then for the Amazon service, it's S3. 
for the actions, it's going to be get object. And for the ARN, we have to go back here. And the ARN is actually right over here. So we copy that and we paste it in here. And then we have to add a slash star. So that means everything in that bucket will be accessible. We add the statement. Okay, the statement looks good. And then we can generate the policy, which is right here. So I'm going to copy this whole policy and paste it in here and save it. Okay, now it says this bucket has public access. It even gives us this little public tag on the bucket policy to show that it has public access. And now, if we go to our endpoint that we had a 403 before, if we refresh it, there it is. There is our website hosted in S3. Now, as you can see, it's still a long name like this. This is actually the full name of the bucket that's publicly accessible. You can, of course, improve that by having your own domain name uh, and use Route 53 to properly route it to this, um, to this bucket. But for now, just to show you that you can host a public website on your S3 uh, bucket, this is how you would do that.